What's up everyone? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it is time to give you my five reasons why I think Georgia will win against Ohio State in the college football playoff semifinal game that is happening on New Year's Eve. And before I start this video, I just want to let you know that I am 100% feeling better now. Um, I had a day off yesterday due to sickness a little bit. Allergies were bothering me a little bit, but now I'm back to making sports content for you um, guys. So, but this is my first video that I came up with. And also, you know, another video idea that I came up with. Why not do five reasons that, you know, how Georgia will win the game. These are kind of like similar to like keys to the game. Like how does um, Georgia win this game? Well, I mean, we're going to find out here when we get into these five reasons. Well, this is simply not a prediction. This is simply, you know, pretty much, you know, the reasons why I think Georgia will win and what it takes to win against Ohio State in the college football playoff semifinal game that is happening on December 31st. So that's how it's going to work. I'm going to pretty much do all the four teams in the playoff. I'll do Michigan tomorrow. Probably Saturday I'll do TCU. And then on Sunday I will do um, Ohio State. So that's how it's going to work for all these videos. And let's get right into it here with five reasons why I think Georgia will win. Um, I'll give you those predictions as well um, right after Christmas. So, all right, my number five reason, the whole defense for Georgia. I think, you know, the key for them for this number five is the whole defense. You look at what this defense has done this season, it's not the same as same defensive team as it was last year that won the national championship. But this is still a good, pretty, pretty good defensive, um, you know, team, if you ask me. I mean, Georgia's defense has gotten better each and every single game after entering November. And I think the last four weeks, or I should say maybe five weeks for Georgia, I mean, you know, they've looked like the top team in the country on defense. Yeah, they have a great defensive line, and they also can really stop the running game as well. And they're only giving up about 70, you know, something yards of rushing. And also, I know they gave up 30 points last week to LSU, but... Still, I think that team played pretty well. It was the offense that came strong for this team uh, last season, or actually, you know, that game last week against LSU. But last season, uh, Georgia was pretty good on defense. This year, they're really good on defense again. And this team has gotten better. Kirby Smart knows what it takes to get a defense better. And they have a great defensive coordinator in Will Muschamp. So I think this team is really right where they need to be on the whole defensive side of the ball. That's my number five reason. My number four reason is Brock Bowers. Um, Brock Bowers leads the team in receiving this season with 726 yards of receiving. And he has and he, he's really dominated all season long. He's got only six touchdowns, but this is the reason why Georgia's um, receivers are so good in the country. But Brock Bowers is one of the best. I'm saying that right now, the best tight end in college football as well. So I know he hasn't had a lot of touchdown receiving catches, but yeah, Brock Bowers is the reason why that Georgia continues to roll on. And I think Brock Bowers pretty much is could guarantee to be a first round, maybe second round pick in the NFL draft. But yeah, it comes down to Brock Bowers and that receiving group. You know, it comes down to them. If they can really, you know, catch the football downfield and give Stenson Bennett plenty of room to throw the football downfield. Yeah, I think Brock Bowers is going to be the guy for this game against Ohio State. He's going to have to have a big one. He's going to have to catch some. And he's got 52 catches on the year, so I don't really see him. Um, I don't really see why he would struggle against this Ohio State team. And I think Stinson Bennett's going to go to him every single time. So we'll see how he plays out in that game against Ohio State. My number three reason, the running game of Georgia. I think the running game has to be pretty strong here against Ohio State's defense. Georgia doesn't really have, you know, the same kind of backs as they did, you know, a few years ago. But they got some really talented running backs. You look at their running backs, their, um, you know, their best one is Kenny McIntosh. Um, he leads the team in rushing this season. He's a senior this year. Yeah, this, I mean, this running game for Georgia is pretty strong. You look at Kenny McIntosh. Um, he has 10 touchdowns on the year. So, and he's, he's over almost, he's over 700 yards as well. And then you got Edwards um, in the backfield as well. It has seven touchdowns. So, yeah, the Georgia running backs have been pretty strong this season. I know they're not the same backs as they were from last year's team, but this team is good. This running game is really good of Georgia. 
And I think that's another reason why they're undefeated this year is because of that, that the running game is always pretty strong for Georgia, and we'll see how they do um, in the running game against this Ohio State defense that really struggled against uh, Michigan's offense um, a couple weeks ago. So that's my number three reason. Let's go my number two reason, Kirby Smart. Um, that's another reason why I think Georgia will win against Ohio State is because of the coaching of Kirby Smart, the motivation that this coach puts out on the field. You know, Kirby Smart's been there since 2016, and I got to tell you, ever since he came around to Georgia, he's just been changing the program. He's really putting Georgia as a top program as well in the country. I mean, you look at where they were in 2016. We thought they weren't going to be a team that, you know, would compete in the SEC East. But looking at this team since 2017, they have made the playoff um, some years and some years they haven't made the playoff. But this team is in, sh is in really good shape to win back-to-back -back national championships. And it comes down to Kirby Smart's coaching. You know, it comes down to that whole coaching staff as well. Um, can they bring this Georgia team to back-to-back -back national championship appearances and also win the national championship? Yeah, Kirby Smart has become, you know, a big threat and a big coach in the SEC East. You know, just like he learned from Alabama when he was a defensive coordinator at Alabama, you knew he was going to be one of those coaches that would really start to shape up in his years. And, you know, 2016 wasn't his first best year, but, you know, second year he started to really pour it on. And Georgia's been dominant ever since Kirby Smart came as the head coach. So that is my number two reason why I think Georgia will win this game against Ohio State is the motivation of Kirby Smart. And then my number one reason why is because of Stinson Bennett. Uh, Stinson Bennett, you look at where he was earlier in the year. He kind of struggled at times, but, you know, he's been consistent at throwing the football for the last five weeks. Um, he's thrown for over 3,000 yards. And he's a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. So if you look at the Heisman Trophy list, they're all quarterbacks. You got Stinson Bennett in there with the three other quarterbacks in there. And... I got to tell you, I did not expect Stinson Bennett to get up to the Heisman finalists because I thought he just wasn't so consistent, but he's really proved me wrong uh, the last five weeks. You know, I think that game against Tennessee in the first week of November, I think that was the game that Stinson Bennett started to look like a Heisman Trophy contender, and that's what got him into the uh, final list or the final four of the Heisman candidate list. So, yeah, Stinson Bennett's had a great year. I mean, he's thrown, you know, 20 touchdown passes, and he's thrown for 3,000 yards, just like I talk about it. He's having a better season than he did last year. I mean, he's throwing the ball a little bit more than he did last year as well. So, And I think Stinson Bennett is going to have to have a good game against Ohio State in order to really bring this team back to the national championship game like they, where they were last year. You think about what Stinson Bennett's been through. Remember, he was benched, um, of course, you know, after JT Daniels arrived. And then he got back into the game, and people were kind of doubting him, but Stinson Bennett is a great quarterback after all, and he's really shown that he is the leader of this Georgia team. So I think that's my number one reason why I think Georgia will win this game against Ohio State. And those are my five reasons why I think Georgia will beat Ohio State in the college football playoff semifinal. Like I said, this is not an official prediction. This is simply just... Maybe five keys to winning the game for Georgia, or maybe just other things. But like I said, we'll have you those um, college football playoff semifinal predictions after Christmas. So, um, and stay tuned here for more on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.